<clears throat> There's nothing wrong with my design. It's flawless. There must be something wrong with the parts those imbeciles brought me. I need to find better assistance. Timing, gentlemen. Lend me a hand, won't you? These presents must belong to Sandy Claus, so I thought I'd better return them. You just happened to find them? Of course, Sora. I'm finished with Christmas fantasies, you know that. But you thought you'd hold on to the suit. What, this? It's just a costume. And Sally worked so very hard making it. Come on, we've got work to do. you find these? In Halloween Town. You'll be needing them for Christmas, right, Sandy? Of course. But these are just a few of the Christmas presents that were stolen. Stolen? Oh, Sandy, you don't think it was me? Still wearing the outfit, I see. I just thought I'd dress for the occasion. But, if you don't believe me, then we'll just have to find out who really did it. Very well, I'll leave it to you. All right, Sora, Donald, Goofy, we're off! Good. No! Boring! This one? No! No way! Ow! So you three took them. Took what? You stole the presents, didn't you? It wasn't us. But...
you can't be here. Leave Halloween Town by order of the mayor. Somebody, anybody, I'm only an elected official. I can't handle this by myself. Sally was right. We've got to get the presents. What a shame. It looks like it was such a nice present. Uh, Jack. Oh!
Not quite. There's more? Don't worry, I'll take care of the rest. Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. This plaza should work well for your plan. Now, Jack, what is your plan? I've got it all figured out. You do? Of course. And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the group. And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Shh. I found the world. Gorge, was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch! Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! Yeah. Ha. Ha. This is it. Yeah. 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 Ye
The mystery is solved! Did you catch the thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm, the doctor has made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho! Interesting. So the puppet wasn't stolen after all. It ran away on its own. In other words, my experiment was an overwhelming success. Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. Happy Halloween! What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift. To wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait, what's this? I feel so strange, so very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally, you've given me the nicest present in the world, and I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not your gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart? You bet. Tell me that, Sally. How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? Maybe 
that's the source of the weird reading we picked up before. And there's something funny about Twilight Town. I'm seeing two of them. Look, it's another huge energy reading, and it's coming from some place near the town. I don't know what's going on, fellas, but it sure looks like there's some big trouble brewing around Twilight Town. So, what were you doing here? I was thinking, perhaps there's a way to make it so you won't go away. You mean, a way to make me stay? Yes. Would there be such a thing as a way to make it so you don't go away again? Pooh. Don't worry. I promise I'll come back and visit you now and then. Could you make it now and now instead? That seems a bit better to me. Sora, if I go looking for you, will I find you? I'll always be with you. Right here. You don't have to go anywhere. Just stay here, and you can see me anytime you want. You mean I just have to stay right here? Yep, that's all. Would you promise? Promise. I promise too! And so do Rue and I. We sure do. You're welcome to visit us anytime, Sora. Thanks. After all, I must tell you of my Uncle Albert's adventures at sea. Guess you'll be staying a while. <laughs> Goodbye, Sora. Thanks, Gopher. If you ever get lonely, just start bouncing and think of your pal, Tigger. I will, Tigger. You're leaving? Yes, I really have to go. Well, I won't be sad, because you'll always be right here, forever and ever. Right, Sora?
and all of you are right here too. See ya.